Okay, so this is Go Math Unit 8, Lesson 9, and today we're talking uh, still about inequality. So up to this point, we've been dealing with expressions, equalities, and then inequalities. So understanding my inequalities, yesterday we had looked at the, the possibility of being given a number and determining whether or not that number would be a solution to an inequality. Uh, we're looking for greater than, less than, greater than and equal to, less than or equal to. And so now we want to create our own sort of uh, inequalities. So if I heard today that I'm getting less than three inches of snow, so less than three inches of snow today, I might make a variable that is s for snow. Why not, right? Variable can be anything. s and three, well, how would they relate? If it's less than three, and I know that for sure, s is going to be less than three. Does that mean that s, and this is the question that I keep asking myself, could s be three inches. Can we get three inches? It says less than three inches, so three is not a solution. There is my answer. S is less than three. All right? When we get into graphing, the determination between whether or not three can be included is really, really important. All right? So let's look at another one. If I said um, my temperature has never been higher than 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So never higher than 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And I could say it's never higher than 104, or the highest my temperature has ever been is 104 degrees Fahrenheit, whichever one I wanted to do. So never higher than 104. So that means that 104 and my temperature are the two things that I'm talking about, and I want to know how they relate to, to each other. So is my temperature higher than 104? Well, no, of course, it said never higher, so it can't be bigger. So it has to be less than. And I would ask myself, OK, so it's never higher than 104. But does that mean that it could be 104? Could it be 104 degrees? Yes. 104 still makes that true. So t is going to be less than or equal to 104. That means I can be 104. I can be 1039. I could be. 23 degrees Fahrenheit, hopefully not, but uh, it's possible. So let's take a look at what that looks like in your book. Uh, first one that we get is the highest temperature ever recorded at the South Pole was 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Write an inequality to show the temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit at the South Pole is less than or equal to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so you'll notice as I went through, I circled and underlined what's important. I want an inequality. So there should not be an equal sign. I have temperature in T degrees. So I'm dealing with T. And I want 8 degrees Fahrenheit. And I need it to be less than or equal to. If I didn't have this specific less than or equal to, I could say the highest temperature ever recorded. This would go back to my fever, right? Does that mean that the highest temperature ever recorded was 8 degrees Fahrenheit? Could it be 8 degrees Fahrenheit? Yes. That was the highest. That was the record. I need less than or equal to. So an inequality that describes T temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, T is less than or equal to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at one more. The directors of an animal shelter need to raise more than $50,000 during a fundraiser. Write an inequality that represents the amount of money, M in dollars, They need to raise. OK, so I have M. That's how much we want money we want to raise, right? And $50,000. The question that I have, M needs to be more than $50,000. So I know that M is going to be bigger than $50,000. But could M be $50,000? Technically, no, because it says they need more than $50,000. So that could be $50,001, and that would technically work. But it cannot be equal to because M is going to be greater than 50,000. So in 8, 9, when we're looking at our inequalities and we're creating our own, we need to ask ourselves, OK, am I greater than, less than? What are the things that I'm discussing, like M for money and $50,000? And finally, always make sure that you stop and ask yourself, is this solution a possible answer? So could this be $50,000? Would that satisfy what the wording said here? In this case, no, $50,000 won't cut it. 50,001 certainly would because it needs to be more than 50,000. So take your time, read carefully, and I think you'll be successful.